So hello again, and this time we are on the island of Ulva. Now Ulva is a short boat ride from the island of Mull, which in turn is a short ride from a short boat ride from Scotland. So we're we're, we're fairly remote, and there's not many people around here, but you know we are quite accessible to uh, to many places. So it's not a place that uh, is super difficult to get to. That said. Um, it's to get to where we are today on this beach with the with the basalt rocks. We've probably had about uh, an hour and a half um, hike uh, across the island of Ulva, which on a day like today, today in this glorious sunshine and heat is not easy. We've lugged all this gear and we've got here, of course, and you know, once again, what we've, what we've got is uh, brilliant sunshine and, and a day that's not ideally suited for landscape photography. Um, what I will say is the hike across, you, you may have noticed on, on, on the video before that I was carrying my camera with a long lens on. I actually had a Sigma 150 to 600 millimeter lens and, and the reason for that is, is really quite straightforward. Ulva is renowned for wildlife and there's loads of wildlife here on Ulva. Um, have a look at the images that I took or some of the images that I took on the way over here. And what that kind of says is, you know, although you're walking to a destination, get the right lens on your camera and maybe carry your camera in your hand. And because, you know, just seeing the dragonfly just sort of zipping across around you or another animal is, is, is actually well worth um, sort of just keeping that camera handy and ready for. Uh, you know, you don't want to leave your, your wide angle lens on, leave it in your rucksack and, and hike across here. And if you see an opportunity to do something, yeah, do it on the way. Now we're here though, with the, the, the big lenses back in the bag and um, we've got a landscape lens on. Now what, what I've got on here at the moment is a, is a Tamron um, 15 to 30. And it's quite, it's quite tight in actually. It's, it's, on, it's actually set around 30, uh, 30 mil to try and get, in, get a little bit closer into that than, than maybe the, the, the full extent of the wide angle lens. That said, this is not, the ideal time for landscape photography. The light, you know, we've got a sun right above us in the sky. There's not a cloud in the sky to uh, to kind of take any of that uh, strength out of the sun. So we've got very harsh, very contrasting sunshine. And uh, and that's just hitting those rocks um, very hard, as you can see. So we're not gonna be able to cre create any wonderful images today. So at best, we're gonna take like picture postcard type photographs. But that said, we've made the hike here. We've, we've made the effort to lug all this gear right across the island to this location. So we are gonna take some photographs. Now, the first thing I did when I got here was I dumped my bags on the beach and I just took a walk and I just had a walk up and down the beach for about 15, 20 minutes just to kind of get a feel for the area and just get a feel for where any shots might be. And uh, it, it's not easy on a boulder beach like this. You know, there, there are no, no natural leading lines. All the boulders are about the same size. So there's no kind of thing, boulders that stick out as maybe focal points. Um, so you are kind of limited to some extent. Um, the, tide is, the tide is just here actually. Um, my feet are actually just just a few inches short of the water, which is which is obviously fine. It's quite nice and, and cooling. I've been so close to the beach, um, but you know, it it's not easy for photography on a day like today. It's, it's easy for snaps. It's easy for, for for postcard pictures, but it's not easy for creative landscapes. But we are going to set some photographs. We have found a few kind of leading lines across rocks and through through fissures and maybe lines of seaweed, and uh, you know that, that we'll show you those in a few moments. What I've got in the front of this camera here at the moment then is I've just got a polarizer. I've got no, I haven't got a filter on it in terms of a, a neutral density filter or anything like that. There's, there's no need. There's nothing that's moving in that frame that we can, uh, that can we get some movement from. We're not photographing the sea. And even if we did have a bit of sea in the image, just around the, this edge of the sea here, we've got lots of kelp and seaweed just floating around. So if you use a long exposure on it, it, it would kind of look just messy actually. So you wouldn't get that, that nice effect of, of sea. You just get like a, a blurry brownie mess of, of where the kelp and the seaweed was moving. So, um, you know, we're not using neutral density filters. We are just using a polarizer, just take a little bit harsh out of that sky, take a little bit of reflection out of that, out of that sky. And, uh, and then we're just using a, a wide angle lens. Wide angle lens set to about 30 millimeters. And uh, yeah, we're just shooting at about F14 to try and get some of the depth of these rocks in. Once again, uh, Nikon D850 and a, and, a, and a tripod, absolutely essential to carry a tripod on a, 
on a day like this it, it is more weight to carry but you absolutely need a good tripod obviously i have to carry two tripods because i've got a tripod over there with the with the video camera on it but uh yes yeah, so, so i'm a bit more uh, a bit more hot up than, than normal probably so let's take some of these pictures and see what they come out like that this one's all framed up and all i've got to do is press that button okay so let's take a look at, at this picture and a few of the other pictures that we've taken today Well, as I said, these pictures are, are, are much more picture postcard images rather than uh, creative landscapes. I hope you've enjoyed uh, this video. Um, if you get the time and you're in the area, definitely make the effort to come to the island of Ulva. It is a phenomenal place. There's a great little um, uh, cafe type thing just by the by the dock. There's there's not much on the island, but there is a, there is a little cafe, and they say that they serve amazing seafood. It's all caught literally in these waters around here. So um, well worth a visit. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, then uh, leave a comment down below, give us a thumbs up, and don't forget over there the old uh, subscribe button. We'd love you to subscribe to uh, to our channel and uh, join us in the future. Until next time, thank you very much for watching. We'll catch you later.